If you're like me and you use the Apple Watch on a daily basis, you too probably have a number of different watch faces for different purposes. For example, when I'm going to a meeting or I have a formal event that I'm going to, I have a watch face and a specific band that I put on my Apple Watch Ultra that fits that specific purpose. If I'm going out to play a sport or to work out, I have a specific band and a specific watch face that that I basically quickly just wipe and set. If I'm going out with friends or if I wanna show off some unique different watch faces, I have a couple of third party watch faces that I you quickly just swipe through and be able to set. So I definitely was one of the persons that were affected by the change that Apple introduced with watchOS 10, where you had to press and hold and then swipe to be able to change your watch face. But now with the latest watchOS update, there's a setting that you can turn on and then be able to change your watch face like how things used to be. In Apple's defense, they really didn't do this haphazardly or just randomly. The reason was there were a number of users that complained that when they were basically just using their Apple Watch normal or on a daily, they were always like accidentally swiping the watch and that was changing the watch face and they didn't want that. So when watchOS 10 came out, Apple basically totally removed and disabled that, but then it turns out when people have a specific feature or function that's working really well for them, there's very few numbers that go back and say, oh, hey, by the way, this feature is amazing. Keep it this way. But the same feature, when it annoys a number of people, then you hear more of it. So when Apple removed it, there was definitely an influx of complaints. And in fact, on the Apple discussions tab right here, when they removed this feature on watchOS 10, you can see there was an influx of complaints and people were basically saying after watchOS 10 update, I cannot swipe between watch faces. This infuriates me and I have a utility screen I create that has calculators, timers, etc. And they want to quickly access different functions, but now they have to press and hold. Come on guys, bring back the watch face swipe as it was before with watchOS 10, at least as an option feature so people can choose whether to press and hold. Accidental watch face changing? You gotta be kidding me. How hard is it to swipe back to the right face? Definitely people were not happy when Apple removed this feature and that is basically the reason why I'm making this video because Apple took that negative feedback from watchOS 10 when they removed a feature that was working so well for a lot of people and they brought it back but as an option so right here on my apple watch you can see here you know on my watch face if i was to just swipe i can easily change watch face if i swipe this way i can go back to the previous watch face and in order for you to be able to do this you have to go into your settings on your apple watch and then you have to go to where it says clock so they put it under the clock section and not under the watch face section so if you go under clock right there you can see this setting that says swipe to switch watch face and switch between your watch faces by swiping left or right from the edge of the screen and now you can see right here since it's on, I'm able to do that. Now, if I was to go back and turn this off, you can see I can't basically change my watch face. I have to press and hold and then go to the watch face that I want and then set it like that or press the digital crown. But you can see with that setting off, I can't basically change my watch face. Now, if I double tap my digital crown right there and quickly access the same feature on the clock, I can enable this setting and then go back and now I can be able to swipe my watch faces like this and if I want to have a good day with Snoopy you know I can just set Snoopy like this and yeah Snoopy is being creative as always now 
keep in mind that if you go into your settings and then you go to your clock and you try and find this swipe to switch watch face and you don't see it this is because this feature is only available in watch os 10.2 and later so you have to make sure that you are on the latest watch os version i believe watch os 10 is supported on the apple watch series 4 and newer so go into your settings and then go to software update and make sure you are updated to the latest watch os version now in most cases in order for you to update your watch your phone basically needs to be up to date as what well with the latest ios version so on your iphone if you have to update your iphone first then update your apple watch go into your settings and then go to where it says general right here and once you are in general go to software update and make sure that your ios version is ios 17.2 and higher and once you've updated and restarted your phone to the latest ios 17.2 or higher then you can go into your settings and be able to update your watch if you are having issues updating your apple watch now keep in mind that uh in order for you to install the update you have to basically make sure that your watch is charged up to at least over 50 percent and it's connected on its charger and then it will be able to install the update but downloading the watch os file you basically don't have to connect it to your charger only the installation part of it requires you to have your watch connected physically to the charger now this is something that's good it's good to see that apple took the feedback and they basically lessened and they added this feature under the settings and the clock section that allows you to be able to swipe and change your watch face now this is something that's good and i'm going to be using it you know pretty fast and you can see i can be able to go through all my watch faces pretty quick and you know i have different watch faces for different functions so it's good and now you know what to do and in case it doesn't work for you you can see that you probably have to update your devices to the latest os in order to have this feature so that's about it for me let me know what you think about this do you basically turn this feature on or are you a person that's going to be keeping this feature off and you know keep it like apple did when they introduced watch os 10 now let me know in the comment section below and uh, that's about it for me if you like this video leave a like and uh, subscribe and uh, we'll cover more watch os tips and tricks pretty soon so yeah hang around and you will be you won't miss out for sure peace